in exploration has been affected. Well, here with me in the studio is Sam Malin, Chief Executive of the oil exploration company Avana Petroleum, which is concentrating on the Western Indian Ocean. Uh, nice to see you, sir. I hope I got that right. It's Malin and not Malin. It is indeed Malin. Good. Um, as the business gets more difficult, aren't the big boys, the big giants of the world, the BPs and the shells, just going to run over little tiddlers like you? Well, the bottom line is... Little Tiddlers, as you put it, have always been the companies that have been out there doing the, the initial exploration. Typically what happens, even now in the credit crunch where it's hard for the smaller companies, typically what happens is the, the majors come in afterwards. They let the smaller companies do the, uh, do the leading edge work, if you like, on identifying areas of interest. I still don't get the economics of this business. Uh, you've been going uh, how long now, uh, Avana Petroleum? Well, Avana's been uh, been active for about five years. I've been working in the area for about 15 years. Okay, let's look at Avana. Five years. As I understand it, you've not yet found any commercial oil. How do you keep in business? Well. The, the process to find oil is one that can take anything from three to even 20 years, even longer. Uh, if you look at uh, major finds around the world, sometimes provinces have taken 20 or more years to develop. So the way you keep in business is by bringing in financial partners who will share the risk with you, the risk that it won't work, but also the risk and the hope that it, that it will work. So those partners have got to be pretty patient, and I guess they've got to have deep pockets. Well. They either have to be patient or they have to, as you go along, want to sell out to new partners. Tell me about the debate over oil. Uh, I hear a lot of this, uh, peak oil. Some of the majors say, don't worry, there's loads of it out there. It can last for our lifetimes and our children's lifetimes. Others say, no, it's all going to run out in 30 years. Where do you stand? The issue is how much oil is available at what price, and peak oil at a given price may be meaningful. Peak oil at any price isn't meaningful. Mm -hmm. If you uh, look at the North Sea, for example, there's considerable amount of oil left in the North Sea, but at relatively high recovery prices. So there's a lot of oil out there, it's just going to cost more, uh, te technology being equal. But also, technology improves over time and reduces the uh, the cost for getting a given barrel out. Think about this extraordinary story on the front page of the Daily Mail today, which says that uh, tankers are parked off the British coast, uh, in effect, uh, waiting for the oil price to go up. They're not delivering the goods that they have. In effect, they're manipulating the market and ripping us off. Well, that's an interesting. It's an interesting story because the story there, of course, suggests that the tankers are uh, are waiting to take advantage of the future higher prices, which indeed they are. But of course, the other side to that is when that oil comes on the market from those tankers, it adds supply and helps push prices down. So, in fact, those tankers are just.